restaurant industry is concerned uh, by the adjusted alert level three lockdown regulations which now permit eateries to have sit down customers government gazetted the new regulations on friday president Cyril Ramaphosa announced the easing of restrictions more than a week ago though and there's still no clarity about how this will happen mission africa zimbali tatani has more as government adjusts the lockdown regulations for restaurants confusion reigns in the industry Restaurants have not been able to cater for sit-down meals in three months, while the industry welcomes the eased restrictions under Alert Level 3, there are still major concerns. We've outlined at every turn the readiness that we have to open as well as the protocols that we've suggested in order for the industry to be able to match the financial viability in terms of safety in the inclusion of both 70% sit-down as well as consumption of alcohol with your meal. So we need to understand how um, this has not been afforded to us if we've outlined at every level on how we can safely ensure that we curb corona. While restaurants have been allowed to operate, they have only been permitted to operate through deliveries, drive throughs and collections. This business owner in Parkhurst says while they can now open their business for sit-down meals, the restrictions on the sale of alcohol is not feasible for profits. If you backtrack to March, prior to the lockdown, they were allowed only 50 people in your restaurant, including staff. The complement of 50 people in total. Fast forwarding now to level three and with the advancement of sit down, if we have to trade under those conditions, there's no way a restaurant can make money or meet their business means. Furthermore, the alcohol factor is a huge factor in this industry. It's like a priest going to church without a Bible. It's like a surfer going to the beach without a surfboard. Alcohol and food go hand in hand. A customer wants a glass of wine, a beer maybe, and more importantly, your average per head in this industry relies on sales of alcohol. The Minister for Tourism has now provided clarity. Alcohol, yes, it's still within takeaway no alcohol consumption on site when alcohol on consumption is allowed it will be reflected on the regulations now coming to sit down restaurants in respect of guests conduct a screening questionnaire and take precautionary measures to protect the person and other persons in the premises ensure that customers and guests wear masks at all times while they are in their premises except when they are eating and drinking. Menus must be replaced with at least non-touch options or sanitize after each use. While many restaurants have been given the green light to open their doors, these eateries and parkers have opted to remain closed. It's the little things that many South Africans have missed during lockdown now that restrictions have been eased, people can slowly begin to indulge their habits again, like enjoying a cup of coffee at their favorite restaurant. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Bali Tetani in Parkhurst.